there are two things that you must have if you want to get a good looking six pack. Number one is well trained abs and number two is a low enough body fat percentage. If you just have one of these then I'm sorry but you just won't have a good looking six pack. Now let me give you a little backstory about me and ab training. I was skinny fat for most of my life so I never really had visible abs at all. I remember how I would see these models on live with six packs and every girl would obsess over them. So that's when I decided that I want to get a six pack as well and I was about 14 at the time. And no, I'm not going to tell you that I wanted to get a six pack for myself because I wanted it just so I could attract more girls. And everyone nowadays is too scared to admit that the first motivation for working out was just to get more attraction from women. And that's why I'm going to admit that that was my first motivation because it's almost like that for every other guy. I started doing a shit ton of ab training every day that I saw from these videos on YouTube. Get abs in 5 minutes type of workouts. I did that for some time but saw almost no progress. But I didn't give up. My motivation to get a six pack was too high. I remember that I was working a summer job at the time. And I was doing all of these ab workouts every single day before work. And right now looking back at it I'm impressed that I was this dedicated. And that's when I discovered that I needed to lose body fat to make my abs visible. So that's what I did. I basically just starved myself because I didn't know anything about nutrition at the time. I was eating about 1500 calories daily, which for an active teen is super low. I just got really skinny and yes, my abs were visible, but I was starving myself and it was obviously not worth it. The biggest mistake that I was making was that I was only focusing on getting a six pack. I wasn't training all of my other muscles as much as I should have and I wasn't eating enough. So I just got really lean and skinny and you can do it the way that I did but I definitely would not recommend it because it's very unhealthy because you will just fuck up your metabolism and later on losing weight will be much more difficult. So don't make the mistake that I did. Train your whole body, eat enough food and make sure that you have a low enough body fat percentage for your abs to show. Right now I look like this and I have visible abs but I wouldn't say that I have a perfect six pack because my lower abs aren't showing as much as my upper abs but that's completely normal. If I lost more body fat then I would probably have a good looking six pack but I don't plan on doing that because I already am pretty lean and to get that lean to get a good looking six pack then I would just have to starve myself and then as you can probably tell I'm not looking forward to doing that again. Whew, it's getting kind of hot in here. Now let's talk about the first thing, well-trained abs. To get well-trained abs, you need to train them consistently. And what a surprise, right? There are so many ab exercises online that are just a waste of time because they aren't that great to building your abs. Spending your time on an exercise that you can do a hundred reps of is just not the best way to train your abs. Of course, it's better than doing nothing, but there are better exercises that you can do, which I'm going to show you right now. The first exercise is called the dragon flag and I really like it because it not only trains your six pack but your whole core as well and if you're doing calisthenics then training your core is really important because if you have a strong core then skills like human flags, front levers and planches become much easier. Hold on to something that will withstand your body weight, raise up your legs so you're in a straight line and slowly lower yourself down and hold this position. Remember, the lower you go, the harder the exercise. The only part of your body that should be touching the ground is your upper back. And since this exercise is quite difficult, I'm going to give you two easier variations that you can do if you can't do a dragon flag just yet. The first one is a dragon flag with just one leg straight and the other leg tucked in. And the easiest variation of this exercise is a dragon flag with both of your legs tucked in. The next exercise is called a knee raise. And while hanging from a bar, raise up your knees until they touch your chest and slowly lower them down. To make this exercise harder, I like to put a dumbbell between my feet. Another way that you can make this exercise harder is by doing it with a resistance band. Tie it somewhere behind you and put your legs inside of it, and then just do a knee raise like I explained before. Remember that the thicker the band, the harder the exercise. It's going to be much harder to do it with this band than for example this band, because this band provides much more resistance. The next exercise is a knee raise to the side, because you can't forget about the side part of your abs, your obliques. While hanging from a bar do a knee raise, but twist your lower body to one side and then do it to the other side. And to make this exercise harder, you can do the things that I mentioned before. Use a resistance band or a dumbbell. The next exercise is done on a yoga mat and I don't know the name of it, but it's basically a leg raise and a crunch combined. Lay down on your back and straighten your arms. Raise up your legs and reach forward until you can touch your toes. Then slowly lower your legs and arms down, but if you can, don't let them touch the ground because that will take the tension off your abs. 
To make this exercise harder, I like to hold something heavy, for example a plate. These are some of my favorite ab exercises, because they're actually focused on building muscle. You need to do these exercises about 3 times per week in each set getting close to failure. You basically need to train them, just like you would any other muscle, because abs are also a muscle. What a surprise, right? <laughs> they don't grow when you do a 20 minute circuit training every single day, just like your biceps wouldn't grow when you did the same thing. So just remember that your abs are also a muscle, and that means that you should train them just like you would any other muscle. And now let's talk about the second thing, a low enough body fat percentage. You need to have a low enough body fat percentage for your abs to show, that's just the truth. If you have built a 12 pack but you're fat, then no one will be able to see your abs because you are just too fat. And the thing is, genetics play a huge role in getting a six pack. Because some people hold more fat in their stomach, while some people hold more fat in their legs. So that means that some people will have a visible six pack at 15% body fat, while some people will have a visible six pack at only 10% body fat. So you can do nothing to change that, so just work with what you got. The way that you technically lose body fat is by being in a calorie deficit. But as you may have heard in my previous videos, I'm not a big fan of counting calories. So the way that you lose body fat without counting calories is by primarily focusing on whole foods and being more active throughout the day. Whole foods are whole unprocessed foods, for example vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts, seeds, eggs, meat, fish and whole grains. Basically everything healthy. And how will these foods help you reduce your body fat? These foods contain the three most satiating nutrients, healthy fats, protein and fiber. When you focus on these three nutrients, then you will feel satiated on less calories, which means that you will be in a calorie deficit and be one step closer to getting a six pack. And being active will help you get in a calorie deficit because being active just means burning calories. And the best way to burn calories is by doing cardio, for example, running or biking or even walking. And just remember this principle, eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. Don't starve yourself just like I did because it will just fuck up your body in the long term. You need to feed your body with the right fuel to get the best results. So to sum this video up, here are two things that you must have if you want to get a good looking six pack. Number one is well trained abs and number two is a low enough body fat percentage. And the third one is patience because you can't expect to get a six pack in two weeks. That's just not impossible. This shit takes time. If you liked this video, then I would really appreciate it if you left a like or even subscribe. But if you didn't like it, then feel free to leave a dislike and comment down below what I should improve on. You can also follow me on Instagram, it's gonna be linked down in the description. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer all of them. Have a great day and remember, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Peace!